Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm going to bring a HandyPod mobile lock. Uh, so basically it's just a handheld system for uh, a phone, for your cell phone. So if you want to record and other stuff and, uh, you know, you want to hang on to it and make sure your phone doesn't fall. Because I used to have one of these, but it was a flimsy. It was a little flimsy. So I ended up upgrading to this unit. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what you guys get when you purchase this thing. So maximum weight, it could do one kilogram or 2.21 pound. 2.21, all right? So it's two pounds pretty much. That's what it is. So... So we're going to open it up and see what you guys get. Instructions on the back. We're going to uh, do this handy knife. And if you want to ever get a, one of those kickstands for your phone, this is probably what you want to start with, you know. And um, make sure that, that you have something for um, stability. Not only that, you could use you could use it as a stand, just as a regular stand, so you could watch you know, movies and stuff like that, but I'm basically going to use it to um, hang on to it and put it somewhere in front of me where I could record myself and do a little video blog or anything like that. So they had a bunch of different options out there, but this was probably the most inexpensive one. This is probably the most inexpensive one that I have purchased out there. So let's go ahead and open up, see what you guys get when you buy this. So off the bat, it's falling. And here it goes. So they do have a remote control system that actually docks in here. Um, I just didn't buy that purchase. In fact, they have it in the instructions in the back. It says here, pretty much you could dock it in this unit and it will go in here somehow, but I, or it will hang from here, but I don't have that unit. Um, it looks very rugged, very, very sturdy. So we're gonna hope, go ahead and open it up and see what we can do with it. But it's supposed to the weight a lot of, and it's pretty heavy. It's supposed to carry a lot of weight for the cameras. And there you go. Still flimsy. I don't know what the button's for. Oh, the button's for the top. That's what it is. You hold on to the button, this thing moves. Oh shoot. Um, this ball looks like it's 3D printed in here, but it's it looks very sturdy. It's all aluminum base in there. The whole thing is very heavy, very sturdy, so you can hang on to it, but you can't lock the feet. You cannot lock the feet. You guys see, you cannot lock these feet. You can only lock the top. And pretty much this is the, the other end. This is the other end of the unit where you have to add your phone to it and or your camera, your DSR camera or Canon or, or any, uh, any camera you have pretty much. But uh, you could set it up. There's two different ways of setting up. There's a bowl here and there's another bowl here but i'm not gonna do sideways this is pretty much you could do sideways for like uh, a straight up angle shot and um but we're not doing that we're doing the pretty much on the top of it we're gonna see if we could set it up but before that we're gonna test it out i have a, Sa a samsung note 10 plus and this is why i got it because i want to make sure it fits the samsung note 10 plus so uh, I want to make sure it, it stretches out. So there is a little lever here in the back, if you guys see it, and you pretty much stretch it out. And it looks like it is going to fit. And these are little rubber ends here. Let me see if I could bring that little close-up camera. There's rubber ends at the end, if you guys see it. This is a lot better than the last one I had, which is only plastic. Uh, it could have damaged my phone uh, if you dropped it or something. But this one's actually pretty sturdy, and, and they're all indented. So they're like little teeth pretty much grabbing on even though it's all plastic in here i like this feature that you lock it in this is an extra plus thing so if you open it up you lock it in and there's little teeth in the back too it stays locked i like that then it's pretty much built for a lot of different size phones but today i got the largest phone the the samson galaxy note plus so note 10 plus all right so we're gonna go ahead and do it oh i just let it go and it freaking fall behind so let's go ahead and set it up so here is here's my samson phone uh, we're gonna turn it on too. see how it is big giant phone and let's see if it how, how stable it is with this let's see open it up as much as I can so but the last part I had an issue with the power button so this time they moved the power button they got rid of the Bixie button which is a lot better and let's see how well it works and, and lock it in and that's it and it's pretty much sturdy enough um, flimsy doesn't fall see it's not falling it's perfect um, spinning the only thing that spins is the top because I didn't lock it in right um, 
this button here, check this button out. So you hold on to it. You can do stirring angles and let's see how well it works. Seems like it's hanging on. But I'm taking a risk here by doing this, spinning my phone around. Uh, see how sturdy it is. So if you're going to do video blogs and stuff like that, this is not that bad. And let's, let's go ahead and do this stuff. I'm going to flimp seat. We're going to record from this angle. See if I can record from this angle. So I still have access to the buttons here, which is great. So here we are. We're doing a self block. So say you want to do a self block or something like that. This is a perfect way. I mean, you grab it. I'm not going to show you any of my background or anything like that. I'm just going to show you just a couple things here, but you could pretty much move this into different angles. So if you want to do like a selfie, you can do a selfie like that. It's not that bad. I mean, I, I personally like it a lot. It's sturdy enough. I'm moving it. It's, of course, you're not going to see the stabilization on the camera itself, but it's a pretty sturdy little device. I like it. I like it. Simple. You know, one hand. You're walking around you're gonna be walking and, and not only that it works with every single unit so if you have a gopro you're gonna need an actual an extension for the gopro that they have they have the camera extension so that's not gonna be a problem at all it's very sturdy in there um this is like well made uh it's probably the cheapest one i saw at, at one a best buy um this is great to a good grip if you guys see it i'm spinning it I'm trying to shake it out and it won't fall. It won't even move from the middle unless you push this button. I like, I like this part, you know, you could automatically change it. Instead of twisting like the old one, it just pretty much just to push a button and that's it. And there is a locking area here. You guys see the locking area? The locking area goes in here and it kind of rests itself in there. If you guys see it. So I like this. Now, another option I wish they had on this thing maybe an extension to a stick or maybe another another screw in part of it here it would have been pretty awesome if you could extend it even longer to your existing tripod um, um tripod but unfortunately they the engineers couldn't do it or i don't know what happened to give up but this resting part tells you exactly the angle where it's supposed to hit um now removing it's very simple like i said button in the back you lift it lift up take it out and that's pretty much it and if this phone works in here it works pretty much for every single phone i believe i mean no ipads of course it's going to only work for 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 droids and iphones and this is the largest phone there is in the market so that's why i wanted to do a test with this so text test was successful um if you guys have any questions or any comment hit me up i'm your host frank the tank and we are out